Welcome back everyone for today's tutorial, which is on creating a moody spring look for portraits and street photography using Lightroom. So here's our photo that we're going to be working on today. First thing that I like to get started with is just going through with my white balance correction here. I wanna warm this up just ever so slightly. So we're going to increase our temperature on this photo a bit. And we're, like, we're actually gonna do that quite a bit. And then we're, we're gonna take a, out some of this purple tint in our photo as well. We're gonna come down a little bit further to contrast. And we'll take a little bit of contrast out here and then I want to dial down some of the highlight and then increase our shadows a bit. We'll go about 20 or so. And then I wanna increase my white levels here. So with decreasing the highlights, I wanna bring back the detail in anything that may have been a little bit blown out, but I wanted to recover that detail. And so what I'll do is then go down to my white level and then increase from there. Next, I'll go to my black levels. We'll de decrease that ever so slightly and then we'll come down to our presence we'll add a little bit of texture we'll just do about 10 or so percent and then increase our clarity a bit and i like to run dehazing for some of my images just to add a little bit more contrast from how it's pulling back any of that kind of haze look that's that's in our photo it's just a, a common trait that i love to my photos of having that really nice deep contrast look so that's the reason why i do that the next part will come down to our tone curve over here and i'm gonna run one of my presets here so for this particular photo i actually want to go with a more film look that i have so i'm actually going to choose my fortran curve plus and we're going to increase our shadows here about 80 or so percent and then i want to make a few of my adjustments here we'll go to about 60, 50, 60, 50 there, and then increase it here as well. We'll go about 30, 30 or so on our point curve there. That looks good. The next two parts are going to be where we really get that look coming into full effect. The first thing that I want to do is manipulate a few of the colors. I love to do that for my photos. And so let's, let's maybe increase our magenta change the hue of that a little bit let's go a little bit up on our magenta maybe a little bit on purple let's see for green I guess we can stay we can stay about right there we don't want to go too yellow since we don't want to have that fall look for this photo and then down in the saturation increase my reds a little bit and then my yellows I'll drop those a bit I'll go to maybe about 50 percent on the yellow and then my green, I'll increase my green a bit and my aqua, that looks pretty good. And then blue, we're actually gonna tone down the blue level a little bit, go to maybe 40 or so, right about there. And then my luminance, I wanna push up a few of the colors. So let's push up the orange a little bit, as well as a little bit on our yellow, a little bit on our green, that's good. And then aqua, we'll go a pretty bit on that and same for our blue and then we'll do the same for a little bit in magenta and then a little bit in our purple okay so now split toning so if you all remember my very first episode in this series i talked about split toning so to really get that spring look we want to go to what our more kind of purplish like magenta type colors so with our hue and our highlight we're going to bring this all the way over to about there and then increase the saturation to bring that in. So see how we're starting to get that look in there? So we'll do the same thing for our shadows. Go to 245, since that's where we have our highlights in the same vicinity. And then also increase the saturation for that as well. And so now we're getting that look. Now we have that look that we're going for. And so let's let's play around with the balance a little bit and see where we want this. So I will go to about 15, 15, 17% on my balance. And that looks good. So let's come down to our 
effects and we'll we're gonna do the post crop vignetting which is something that i love to to have in in most of my photos not all the time but for the most part i love having vignettes so we'll start this and go about 25. we don't want to go too far for this photo and then bring down our midpoint go about 35 36 somewhere around in there and let's see do we want to adjust our highlights bring in our our sky area that's over there so there you have it there's our before image on the left our after with the edits on the right and that is just a very quick very simple way for creating a moody spring look for your portraits and street photography so try out this look for yourself and see how that works for your images so until next time i'll see you all in the next video